for the long awaited, long drawn out dorm tour. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, this is my roommate. Hi, I'm Ella. <laughs> Basically, we both go to the University of Arizona. We're freshmen and we moved in eight days ago. So we're still very new to this. And we've been working on this room for a very long time, since like mm -hmm. June. We started ordering stuff. We got really excited. I hope you guys enjoy. And I want to put the disclaimer now. A lot of things are from Urban Outfitters. When I used to have an apartment, she actually filmed that, which is really mm -hmm. funny. I feel like you always help me with these tour videos. Basically, I like blurted out every time I would say where something's from Urban. And there was like, someone made a video on YouTube and it was like, did I tell you this? It was like um, <laughs> Ellie saying Urban like 80 times and it just was me saying Urban. So we're gonna just put it out there now. A lot of the stuff is from Urban. We got a lot of our inspiration from like Pinterest and mm -hmm. my mom had a lot of really creative ideas for this too. So shout out to my mom. Let's get touring. Let's get started. Let's go. <laughs> You're fast, this is really embarrassing. All right, everybody, so basically we're right I don't want to tell our location, but we're in kind of a scary spot because people can see us from every angle. So we kind of run in here. First things first, we put our mask hand sanitizer. right here. We got our hand sanitizer. We do pump of that if we leave somewhere. Put our mask down. We have both of our little wristlets with like our cards, cat card we need to get in and out of the dorm and really anywhere. But this is our first little area that you see here. Let's try and give some whip here. So basically, yeah, this, uh, what am I doing? <laughs> Take a cute little outfit picture. <laughs> this right here is another thing that kind of came together randomly. We didn't really have this plan, but we went to Ikea with our moms. So these little things you can attach into the little indents and you can buy them as like a little extension to it. And so we have these, which are perfect to put our masks on. This also came too. We got these cute little plants from Ikea. We like to keep it very freezing in here. We turn off the AC so it's not loud, but it's really, really terrifying. And we keep her on cool and high fan constantly. Next up, we. We have another favorite area here. There's a lot of things going on. Basically, we both drink a lot of water. We have already consumed three of these five gallon tanks in eight days. We're a little concerned about that. So basically we're trying to, I mean, it's a good issue to have, but like we're drinking like absurd amounts. Um, I don't know why I'm talking about our water tank. It's really not that deep. Back to the fun stuff. Okay, now we come to my desk. So basically I just have this cute little plant from Ikea. And then I printed out a cute little picture of my family in Colorado to have up there. This is kind of gritty if I'm being honest, I'm not really the biggest fan, but it was extra. So I thought it would be kind of, kind of cute there. Water break. <laughs> We have my little jewelry area here where I can keep all the jewelry that I wanted to bring down to school. It's from Ikea. Wow. I kind of paid it actually. I can't really see myself in it. So I'm really <laughs> upset by that. You have the really nice mirror when we get to your side. I have all the makeup that I wanted to bring down here. I also have my ear solution here for all my piercings. I used to be really bad at doing that. And my tip is if you get your ears pierced, don't do what I did and actually use it because me. It would Wait, what? what is this? <laughs> me giving ear advice while I'm spraying my perfume. <laughs> So I talked about this in the move-in part two, but her mom got us the cutest little replicas of our dogs. Mm. And so we have these on our little desk and it's Becky. No, they tip really far back, like show them, give them a little. I go. Yeah. It's terrifying. Mm -hmm. I just want like a flat chair in here. So I got these little bins from Target. Aaron was convinced I needed them. I thought they were a irrelevant purchase. I was wrong. I actually went back multiple times mm -hmm. to get more. They're so nice to have. So you're not just throwing all of your different things in. It can keep it really organized. Second drawer, I also have more of the little bins. This is more hair. And I have all my face masks in that little one. And then in this last bin, I have all of my self tan, my blow dryer, curling iron straightener, cute little first aid kit that my mom got. I, I feel so... <laughs> I hate this. <laughs> These beds are absurdly high. Um, I didn't realize that until coming here how high they were. Apparently it's like a thing. But U of A's beds are very high. And I'm also very tall, so that kind of says a lot that even my little doesn't do the job quite right. So here's my bed. This is my favorite part of the room. I spend a lot of time over here. I have a lot, actually not a lot going on, but a lot going on at the same time. Right here I have my butterfly tapestry. If you watched my shopping for college, you would know I originally had a really scary fern weed one basically which i actually love i'm so glad i went with the butterflies it just feels like it ties all the coloring in so much more i got this cute little shelf from oh God, i'm not even gonna say it you know <laughs> what i'm gonna say i'm not gonna say it though and then i got this little plant from ikea i've actually had that for a while and i thought it matched perfect with the little vibe over here these leaves were terrible to hang they are still giving me trouble so i'm really sorry it looks terrifying right now we are all out of like sticky tape basically so we're kind of working with this but i got that idea on pinterest and just get a bunch of leaves and just 
just kind of throw them in like a little little what's that called a bundle so that adds a lot of like comfort to it and then i just dangled some little fairy lights in it wasn't too hard to hang those because they were super lightweight so if you do something like this i recommend getting very tiny fairy lights so it doesn't weigh down the leaves and then everything comes crashing down basically both of these blankets are so cozy and this one was really out of my comfort zone but i just had this gut feeling to get it and i'm so glad i did i think it just adds so much because the bed is very kind of neutral tone i guess our comforter itself is from dormify as well we really really like the comforters mm -hmm. i think it adds just enough like texture but it's also very like lightweight and it already came with like the insert in it so you didn't have to go out and like buy an extra insert which was really nice oh my gosh the other best part if you've seen my videos at home i have a headboard that is inspired from urban outfitters <laughs> and basically i had wanted that for so long but it was so expensive online and i was determined to make it cheaper and that is what we did at home we have my dad's friend who's really good he actually made me a wooden headboard for my room the one that hangs in my room for like one fourth the price and just got like literally scrap wood from like home depot was able to make it so we had the idea to have him make mini little wooden headboards for the dorm i just thought it would tie it all in and we didn't want to buy them and the ones online were really scary and like tall so we, we couldn't even find the wooden ones couldn't online. find them a lot of them were just very not our style they were like fabric yeah they were kind of not Which it cute, for the vibe but... so that is the little bed area it's so comfy the one thing i need to figure out is how my comforter ends up on the floor every single night i'm sleeping like it literally happened again today no matter how hard i like tuck it in kind of terrible so i don't know what's going on in my sleep but i actually get really good sleep here just kind of some weird dreams yeah let's talk about my dreams <laughs> so this area also came together oh my god i love this area so no. much okay so this is where it's a little bit extra and when i was doing the shopping video a lot of people were like what is going on but this is what i was trying to explain a little bit about having this wooden piece basically as similar to the headboard we just got a cheap long piece of wood from like lowe's or home depot literally just tinted it sanded it and did the measurements online for the u of a door Dorms. We wanted to have a lot of storage just so we could bring everything we would need, especially because we are spending a lot of time in here. So this really helped to make kind of more space for us and also connects us. We can we can crawl across each other's beds on it. <laughs> Haven't tried that yet. Can we do that later? <laughs> I have my diffuser. This is an icon. She has been to LA and back and she's something. She's something else. <laughs> and then I also have this cute little self-care book that Sephora collection uh, sent this summer. And I was like, oh my God, I'm obsessed with this, with this cute little crystal. And then this little wood slab um, is from Target. And I think it just adds, I mean, there's a lot of wood going on, but I, I think it's I think it's cute, but I think it's cute. Basically, we're very similar with our coffee taste, which I really like. We both don't love warm coffee. And so we were like, you know what? Like, let's just have a cute little thing to hold all of our cups in. And then we just have iced coffee in the fridge. Basically, when we were moving in, my dad accidentally dropped this and it literally uh, broke, but somehow, with the help of her dad and my dad, they were able to fix it and it works. These are from Ikea. We had such a journey trying to get in the first one here, I have my planner that is essential because I get very overwhelmed very fast. My retainer, all my essential oil stuff, and then all my new vitamins from going to the doctor. And now I have all the stuff I need, which is really good. I had breakfast stuff, but we went to the store and kind of got carried away with the snacks. So this is kind of more of an overflow bin now, but it's all like snacks, granola, cereal. Third bin, we have more snacks. I'm obsessed with these little... Oh. I'm just sit on my pizza. Oh. <laughs> I just dropped all my mints everywhere. Basically, I'm obsessed with like the lifesaver mints are delicious and I just chew 100 of them at night while she's trying to go to bed. It's really fun. All of my like drink stuff. So I have my tea, my liquid IV because I was lacking electrolytes. It's part of my, my heart stuff that was going on. Last bin, I have all my spices. So I have like olive oil, honey, sunflower butter, cashew butter. There's a kitchen in our dorm and so we've been going there and really cooking it up. So coming down to my last little, coming down to my last little section here. Annoying ass poop out of here. We have some more storage space here. It could literally be like a little a little cave down here. I could get like a cute little poop or something. Another poop. Yeah, another poop. It's actually really spacious. So I have all my shoes back here. And then I have all of my produce that we're not refrigerating. Can you do that? I don't know. I want to make us taco Tuesday. I have all of our meal prepping containers. So we've been going over and meal prepping with my sister and using the kitchen to really be able to make 
like different rices and things that can last in the fridge. That way we're not having to spend all this time for each meal. These are built into the beds, which is really nice. So we didn't have to like buy these. I have all of my leggings rolled up and sports bras. Here's my self tanning shirt. That's really questionable. I have all of my shorts in here, my socks. I also have a little bin of different face masks. Oh wow, we got underwear, we got bras, we got oh. biker shorts. <laughs> Basically that is my my side of the room. I wanna show them yours now, I'm so excited yeah. for this. Let's start up. This is so funny. This is so off brand for me. <laughs> We'll have the same thing over here as Ellie. Mm -hmm. I don't want to get, get into all the drawers because mine's just kind of boring. Similar stuff in here, just like plates and yeah, very similar stuff. And then my, this is my bed. Oh, so cute. A lot of pillows. They're kind of packed in here. Yeah, kind of jam them in. Yeah, no, I thought that'd be an issue, but I really recommend that because you can like sit against the wall with mm -hmm. it or do homework. The same leaves up there with the string lights and then my tapestry. These lights, we had the idea to make it all Pinterest in here and have like lights. Basically, we bought glass ones. They shattered on move-in day, Erin cut herself. No one could walk anywhere. Luckily we had this rug that we were able to put down, but then we got these plastic ones and they keep falling. I literally will wake up and I have them like on my face and we just don't know how to hang them. No, and they're supposed to go back and forth all cute, but yeah. now that nothing will stick. <laughs> so they just are like one, they're like kind of weird. I mean, they don't look bad, but they're just so difficult. So I really don't recommend. Um, Basically, I just have a couple of extra like plastic dress dressers for like clothes and stuff. Yeah, this desk is just pretty simple. Just my fan, a couple decorations. Yeah, and then I, a light up mirror is like really helpful. You can sleep in the dark, your light up mirror just really helps. Oh. Uh, this is from World Market. Where's no, not at all. Do you wanna, I, I want you to I do as much as you want. I how to <laughs> oh, so beautiful. <laughs> She's kind of organized. I'm jealous of her bins up there. These are adorable. Where are they from? Target? Mm -hmm. I have these ones from Target too. And then down here, we both have our hampers. She has her shoes in here. And then I have all my sweatpants in this little like rolly out thing. And then we also have, where's my shower caddy? So I need to find a better spot That's for this. That's a good spot. Is it? Wait, it's like hidden. I need to put mine up on it. I didn't even, I couldn't find it. <gasps> wow. This rug down, this this rug down here. <laughs> this is from Dormify and it came really, really big. We thought we got the smaller version, but it actually worked out like so well, so comfy. We definitely don't wear shoes on it. We try and keep it very clean. But that is basically, that is our room. Oh, it looks so cute here. Oh, it looks so cute here. Oh, so beautiful. <laughs> All right, we're gonna go to the kitchen and cook, but thank you for watching. And bye. Bye everyone. Hello everybody. I'm coming on here to end this video. Thank you so much for watching our dorm tour and maybe gave you some inspiration for yours. But the organization that I want to talk about for this video is called the Circulation Foundation. September is Vascular Disease Awareness Month and vascular diseases affect a lot more people than I ever realized. And they're an organization that is doing Step It Up for September and they are there to help with research and funding for helping people that have vascular diseases so I will have the link to that down below for you to check out thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon bye She's a Mona Lisa. everyone's lining up to see her.